Rabbit's New Roomie is the second segment of the 10th episode of the first season of My Friends Tigger and Pooh. And I have to say, I rather enjoyed this for two reasons. One, it was actually kind of funny. And two, there are some really nice messages in this. And one message that I wasn't expecting. So I will go into a little bit of spoiler detail to explain some of the things that I really liked in this and ultimately what the messages are. So there will be spoilers from now. And it starts off with Tigger painting his house. It's a very bright blue shade and... He kind of paints himself into a corner and then leaps out and he goes to visit Rabbit and he finds out that his house won't be dry for quite a while so he doesn't know where to go and kind of reluctantly Rabbit suggests that Tigger can stay with him just until the paint dries but Rabbit has a lot to do. He has his clipboard with all of the tasks that he needs to check off so Tigger needs to be quiet and that's not what Tigger does and he comes up with these games to play that really... The games themselves don't sound that fun, but the names are brilliant. It was slap the ceiling and hit the wall, and the, there was just something about them that really entertained me. And then he gets in the way of Rabbit when Rabbit's gardening, and quite cleverly, Rabbit calls the super sleuthers to get Tigger out of the house, not because he had a mystery to solve, but because he knew Tigger would go off to join the super sleuthers, and that would get him out of the house. Kind of clever, actually, I have to say. But then Rabbit has a lesson to learn, and that's not something I was expecting. And maybe this says more about me and my opinion of house guests than it does of anything else. But I thought the main message would be that if you're staying in somebody's home, you have to be respectful of what they ask for. And that is absolutely true. That message does come across. Tigger does realise he maybe wasn't behaving appropriately. But we actually have a second message, and that... That's the fact that Rabbit needed to have some fun because Tigger was telling these jokes. Rabbit wasn't finding them funny. But Darby and the others tell Rabbit that it's okay to let your hair down every now and then and put the chores aside and laugh and have a good time. And I think that that's something... I don't want to admit that I'm a lot like Rabbit, but I have to say I really am. It's 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 unfortunate, but all of the Winnie the Pooh characters... I'm most like Rabbit, tiny bit of Piglet, mostly Rabbit. And I think there are a lot of people like that as well. So I think the message is actually great. M mostly for adults, not many young children are in a position where they'd rather do a, a checklist of chores than have fun. There are exceptions, of course. But I think that message would actually really appeal to older viewers. Whereas the message about behaving as a house guest might be more suited to younger viewers. But let's face it, there are plenty of adults who don't really have respect for other people's homes. So definitely one that can appeal to a wide range of people. And as I said, I hadn't expected that message with Rabbit. So that was a nice surprise. And it was kind of funny as well. And usually Tigger's speech patterns annoy me. But with this one, I actually found the way he spoke to be quite delightful. And I rather enjoyed it. Needless to say, Rabbit's New Ruby is a good episode and possibly one of my favourite My Friends Tigger and Pooh episodes.